Hi, I'm Paul from Kiln Frog, and today I'm going to be talking about one of the new ovens that we have on our website, the Hot Shop 360. This is a great fiber kiln, and it can be used for all different kinds of things. I've been playing with it for a couple of weeks now, and I've done a couple of low fire ceramic projects in it, and I've done some glass projects in it, and they all turned out really, really well. Uh, the kiln is has a fiber chamber and a fiber panel on the door, so it's got a complete fiber kiln. It's got a tight K thermocouple, and it's got 16 gauge Canfell A1 elements. It's super, super fast if you want it to be fast, but you can also program it to be slow so you can do uh, your ceramic or your glass projects in it as well. It can be used for wax burnout, it can be used for enameling, it can be used for heat treating your blades. So just all kinds of uses for this little kiln. Um, it's powered by a 120 volt, 20 amp dedicated circuit, and you will need a uh, 5-20R receptacle because it has a 5-20P plug. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna program this little kiln to do a kind of a complex glass project. And I picked this project just to show you how versatile this kiln is. So if you wanna come in a little bit closer, um, normally we think about ramp hold programs and we have three values that we enter in for a ramp hold program. Your first one is your ramp speed and your second one is your target temperature and your third one is your hold time. This kiln works a little bit differently. The programmer that's on it is a little different and you have to think of two numbers instead of three and the first number that you're going to think about is your set point or what temperature you want to get to and I have those numbers in this column. And then the other number that you have to enter into the programmer is the time that it takes to get from one set point to the next. And so in order to kind of translate it into ramp hold programs like we think about it, what I did is I took the first set point and the second set point and found the difference between those two, which was 300 degrees. And I wanted to do a 300 degree per hour ramp. So I'm gonna take 60 minutes to get from the first set point to the second set point. And I did that through the entire program and that's how I came up with my numbers. So let me show you how those are entered into the program. Right now it's set to do um, a multi-segment program and it can do up to nine segments. And from the home screen, you're gonna press the P button, which is your program button and hold it. And you're gonna see one number come up and then you're gonna see the next thing come up and that's what you want. And so this is the temperature that the kiln is in at right now. That's its internal temperature. If you press the program button once, then this number right here is gonna be your first target temperature. And I'm going to use 100 degrees as a starting point for this program. And this is just like a regular three key controller in that when you hold the button down, it scrolls slowly at first, and then the longer you hold it, the faster it'll scroll up. So 100 degrees is my first initial set point. My first time, I figured I needed to take an hour, so that's gonna be 60 minutes. And I'm gonna take 60 minutes to get from 100 degrees, which is my initial set point, to my first set point, SP1, which is gonna be 400 degrees. Difference of 300 degrees, I'm gonna take an hour to get there, so that's like a ramp speed of 300, which is a typical ramp speed in a glass firing program. So I'm gonna scroll up to 400. Try not to overshoot it. And there we go. Then I've got the rest of these values set in. Uh, my next time, the next segment is gonna take two hours and I'm gonna go from 400 degrees to 1000 degrees. And then I've got the rest of this scheduled in. Gonna take another hour to get to 1250. So that's my bubble squeeze segment. And I'm gonna take another hour to get up to 1500 degrees. This is a little bit high for a glass firing program, but you'll see why in a minute when you see the project. I'm gonna stay at that temperature basically for 30 minutes because I really want this glass to melt into the mold. 
And so my next target temperature is 1475, a little bit less than my top temperature. Then I'm gonna take 45 minutes to get down to 950 degrees, which is my annealing temperature. I'm gonna stay at my anneal for two hours. So 180 minutes and the same target temperature. So you're just gonna hold for two hours at that temperature. And then I'm gonna do a slow ramp down 300 minutes. So that's five hours down to 100 degrees because I want this piece to cool slowly because it's gonna be very thick. And then my last segment I don't need. So I just entered values of zero. And now we're ready to go. So this is the project that I'm gonna do in this little oven today. These pieces of glass are actually the remnants of some uh, drop bases that I've been making lately. And I just chopped them up and I put them into this little triangular mold. And I'm gonna put that in the kiln and I'm gonna fire it all the way to 1500 degrees and I'm gonna hold it there for a while and let all of that glass melt into that triangular mold. And what I do with these triangles, uh, it's kind of fun. I polish all the edges on my flat lap grinder and then I put them on an LED light and I make night lights out of them. So they're really cool when they're finished. So we're gonna close this up. And then I'm gonna go to my program button and I'm going to press it once. Program run, yes. Run, yes. And it's ready to go. And then I just flick this switch up, which gets the program started. And you can see the temperature's already going up. So we're getting to my first set point of 100 degrees. This will take several hours to fire because it is a thick piece of glass. And so I want to take my time with it. But this mm -hmm. kiln, I've done this project once in this kiln and it came out perfect. So I know that it's capable of doing it. So that's the Hotshot 360.